Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the engine room. I think this might be the last episode for that, so we can move on to other things. So anyways guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, where it's build challenges, building, all that good stuff. So anyways guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright guys, so getting started, we're going to go ahead and get into the engine room right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a panel for fuel pumps dedicated alone. So this will be all the fuel pumps. So let's go ahead and change all these to flip switches. So this will be a flip switch. Uh, this will be a flip switch. This will be a flip switch. And this will be a flip switch. All right, this will be a, this will be on channel four. This will be channel three. This will be channel two. And this is channel one. So this will be fuel pump one. Uh, actually, we'll go with engine one, a fuel pump. Oh, that's not fuel. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this. Let's paste it here and here as well as here. We're gonna change this one to a four. This will be a three. Let's add a space there. This will be a two. All right, so now what we're gonna do, actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and change this around a bit. So this will be a, this will be engine five. This will be a six. This will be seven. Actually, Sorry, this will be two, and then this will be eight. All right, so how we're gonna do this, why we're doing one, five, two, and eight. So basically one and two are the first two. This is channel one, this is channel two, this is three, this is four. And basically we're gonna do one, two, three, and then four, five, six, seven, then eight. So that way, um, we can do it sort of aligned up because that's engine one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, this is eight. So we're just gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it here. Let's merge it. Okay, let's go ahead and change the numbers around. So this will be uh, three, this will be four, this one will be one, and this, oh, that's not one. So this one is three, no okay so this is five this is six this is seven so this one will be seven and then this one will be eight so that means that uh let's just make sure we got this right so this is five this is six this is the incorrect number so that way i believe if we spawn it in it should be correct in order so let's go ahead, spawn in, and turn infinite electricity on, just for the extra temporary decoration. Okay, so let's see. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to type an instrument panel, and basically what I have here is just presets for all instrument panels. So I could just do the basic instrument panels just like that. So all I have to do is place down two because there's two instrument panels. This one will be the first uh, four of them. This will be the second uh, set of four. So this will be uh, one, this will be two, this will be five, and this one will be six. I should probably do engine six fuel pump. So let's go ahead and replace this with one. This will be two. So let's replace this with number two. This one will be instrument panel six. Uh, sorry, fuel pump. Fuel pump six. This one will be five. So let's replace that with five. There we go. Okay, let's update. All right, let's do this one right here. All right, let's go into edit it. All right, this one will be uh, three. Okay, this is going to be four. So let's go ahead and delete this and replace it with four. Okay, this one will be, uh, I believe this is seven. Oh, that's not where seven's supposed to go. So let's replace this with seven. Okay, this one will be eight. All right, let's update it. All right, cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some instrument panels down for uh, other things. So they're gonna have two blocks to the right and two blocks to the left. All right, so this uh, will be a gauge indicating how much fuel we have so let's go ahead and place it down right here so we're gonna go ahead and grab a fluid meter this one right here we're just gonna simply plop it down there we go all right let's go ahead and connect it to the fuel gauge 
right here. So one will go to the other, and then the other will go to the one. All right, this is fuel. Okay, so now what we're gonna do. Okay, so each area has four spots. So we're gonna do the regular dial because we have the space for that. So let's go ahead, put, uh, we'll put engine RPS, engine temperature, engine RPM, uh, just in case we want to check uh, if, in case we don't want to do the calculation, we could just have it there. And this one will be uh, fuel pressure. So let's name this fuel. And I made a typo. So let's just simply fix that. There we go. So that's fuel pressure. We're going to do zero to 1000. Okay. This one will be engine one RPM. Oh, one RPM. Okay. This will go to, um, we'll go to, 6,000 at the moment. Actually, I don't think it's going to go at any higher than 50 RPS, so we could do 3,000. Um, actually, we're probably not going to go above 1,500, so we could leave it at that. We're not going to go above 25 RPS, is that, that's what that is. So, let's go ahead and copy this to right here. So this is engine 1 RPS. All right, so this won't go over 25. Okay, this one, um, what was this, engine temperature? Oh. So this one uh, will make the top temperature 130. That's when I think it's gonna explode. So we'll put this as engine one RPS. So this will go uh, to 25. Sensitivity will go to 40. All right, so uh, we'll go with engine throttle. Okay, we'll put the RPS in here. RPS controller. So that'll indicate that we're controlling the RPS. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this. We're going to paste it here, as well as here and here. Okay, let's merge these four together, just like that. Okay, so this one will be two. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and go over several times. So this is past E, this is past N, this is past G. I think, yeah, there we go, that works too. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and go to this one. This is two. This is two right here. Okay, fuel pressure, engine, oh, well, we should change this to engine two fuel pressure. And let's capitalize that as well as let's fix this. So engine at one fuel pressure. Um, this is two. This is engine two temperature. So let's put this as engine one temperature. All right. This is engine two RPS or sorry RPM then RPS. Okay, that's correct. Let's go ahead and recopy this because this has the fixed version of it. So let's go ahead and select that. Okay, let's move it here. Let's paste it here and here. Okay, let's merge it. Okay, this one will be three, engine three RPS. This is three uh, for engine three fuel pressure. This is three for engine three RPS. This is three for engine temperature. All right, all right. This will be three for engine RPS controller. This is going to be four because this is the next one over. So let's go ahead and change all this to engine four. Okay, um, okay, I think that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and select this and let's copy and paste it. So this will be pasted here, this will be pasted here, and this will be pasted here, as well as this will be pasted here. Okay, let's merge it, just like that. All right, so this is going to be five. So let's change that to five, this is five. This is five as well, and this is five. Same with this. All right, this is going to be six. So I'm gonna do the last three and then I'll be back with you guys. All right, there we go. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and uh, replace some engine temp or colors like this will be the engine temperature. We're just gonna name that, or we're just gonna color that green. This is fuel, so we're going to paint this orange. Actually, so now what we're gonna do going to go ahead and paint the engine control room into this green color because that might look cool with it so let's go ahead and paint it really quickly so 
let's just paint the outside color this color right here just like that just around the perimeter so we don't actually paint the inside walls wherever we don't need it so now what we're going to do is we're going to paint this section right here so let's go ahead paint up here and along there that should be good okay so any walls that are above this should be fine yes that is correct all right now let's paint this wall sorry about the barking in the background um okay so what we're going to do is we're going to simply add a door frame actually i don't think we're going to add, add a door frame so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and paint this actually you know what what we can do is we can grab a door frame corner we could delete all these blocks and we could simply place this up here with the inside lines just like that we can invert it we can turn it upside down we could add this here just like that okay this one can be added right here facing the inside same with this right here and there we go it looks more like a door frame okay so um i think we're gonna go ahead and paint this back wall really quickly so let's go ahead and do that so let's paint along here just like that and then we should be good actually let's go ahead and paint this really quickly so let's just paint along here okay let's do this perimeter okay um oh actually you know what we forgot to paint this so let's do that okay let's grab the color right here let's go ahead and paint around this just like that and then we should be good to fill paint all right see there we go this isn't painted which means that we did it successfully and we don't paint the whole wall the areas that we don't want so now what we can do is we can simply just paint this this color and that way we can get sort of a lower ship area vibe i guess you could say so now we're just going to paint along the perimeter now we're going to fix this right here okay um there's a door frame there that's fine all right, let's go ahead and paint this lower area. Just like that. We're gonna paint this, we're gonna paint that. Okay, now the floor, this upper floor, actually this lower floor, we're gonna paint dark gray. I think we're gonna keep it that way at the moment. So let's go ahead and grab this door frame right here. Uh, let's select it. Okay, let's copy it. Let's move it over to the middle. So this is the middle. We're gonna move it back. So this is the door frame, just like that. All right, so if we ever want to walk in, that will be the way in. Now we're gonna add the floor. So we're just gonna paint around just like this, just to here. We're gonna paint that, that color right there. Okay, this, we're gonna go ahead and paint like that. Okay, now let's paint all the way across like that. Let's fill paint. All right, there we go. Okay, so this panel we'll leave at this color for now, but what we should do is we should add some seats. So let's grab some two by one windows. Let's place some, we'll go with right here and here. We're gonna grab a seat, this one right here. Okay, we're gonna place it right here. Okay, we're gonna move the door frames back a block so that they are actually lined up. So basically what we're doing right now is we're making a chair for people to sit down at. So now let's grab a door frame Okay, let's go ahead and place it right here. We're gonna go up two blocks, just like that. Okay, then we're gonna grab a door frame. Uh, this is corner piece, and there we go. There we go, we got some chairs. Um, so, I think what I'm gonna do with these chairs is I'm gonna raise them up a block. So let's go ahead and cut it, let's paste it. Let's go ahead and clear these and change them for two by two windows. So now let's line them up just like that. Oopsie. Let's go ahead and uh, line it up perfectly just like that. There we go. Let's do the same on the other side. Now let's merge them just like that. All right. So let's go ahead and fill this as black. Okay, this chair, I think we're going to go ahead and paint red. Um, I don't know about that. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and fix this. We're going to change this to black just at the moment. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this. We're gonna go ahead and paint this, or not paint it, paste it at every station lined up with the dials. Actually, we'll do every other dial so that they're spaced out semi-evenly. There we go. All right, now let's merge them. All right, so 
let's go ahead add a baseboard to this uh, if that's what it's called i'm not 100 percent certain all right um we're just gonna add it just like this i don't know if it will look good if it doesn't look good we'll remove it later but i'm gonna leave it like that for now so um let's go ahead and start hooking things up so we're gonna need a function block we're gonna need four of them actually eight of them so um let's go ahead and place them right here so we're gonna try and line them up with the dials so one will be here one will be here i want to say yeah that's correct okay there we go so what we're gonna put in them is x times uh 100 i think no it's uh times 60. so this is going to be the formula for getting rps to rpm so we're just going to go ahead and simply paste that equation into every single one just like this okay there we go now let's go ahead and hook this up to the rpm which is the outer one the one facing the outside of the area for each engine setup so we're just going to go ahead and simply hook these up to every setup simply like this okay there we go all right so this is engine one right here we're gonna go ahead and drag this to right here as well as here okay we're gonna go to engine two we're gonna connect this to here and here okay engine three will be the same as engine two and one so it's connected to here and here okay engine four will be right here as well as here there we go okay um this is engine five so let's connect it to here and here all right let's go ahead and connect engine six this one right here to right here as well as there this one will go to here and here just like the others then finally engine eight will go to here and here okay let's go ahead and connect the temperatures to each engine setup so this is one It'll go to right here. Engine two will go to right here. Uh, this is temperature right here. So this will go to three. Right here, this will go to four. This one right here. Okay, this one will go to five, which is way over here. This is uh, fuel pressure, whoops. There we go, that's our PM. Oh, sorry, uh, temperature. Okay, this one will go to seven um which is right here okay this one right here it will go to eight nope that's seven this will go to eight i think i said seven for this one whoops okay so this one's six this one's five this one's six seven this one's eight all right there we go so let's go ahead add um two push buttons right here so let's grab a push button this one right here okay let's go ahead simply place it down just like that Okay, this will go to all throttle up. So let's name it first, all throttle up. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. Let's paste it here, all throttle down. Okay, this one will go to all of these, the down. Let's make sure we actually hook it up to the dials, or not the dials, the throttle levers, otherwise it won't work. So. That will go to all those. This one will go to all up. So this will add the, uh, this will throttle all the engines up all at once. Okay, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to add, um, I'm gonna say a fire extinguisher system, but I think I've ran out of time for this episode. So, I'm gonna go ahead and save this as mega ship. Okay, let's save and let's spawn it in. All right, there we go. So this turned out really great. I really like the look of this. Um, but what we could do is we can add more of a. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say this doesn't tilt all the way down, but there's blocks in the way blocking it. So let's simply fix that really quickly before I end the episode. All right, let's go ahead and quickly paint it just like that. Okay, now let's save it.
and spawn in. All right, this looks decent except, gosh dang, mirror mode wasn't on. Whoops, let's fix that really quick. All right, so we're just gonna delete that. Okay, we're gonna paint this floor, we're gonna paint this and this and that block. Now let's save and spawn in. This time should be the last time for this episode. So guys, um, next time or next episode will be about the C5 Galaxy and then I'm gonna do Oh, then I'm going to finish the truck series, which should be one or two more episodes. Then we should be finished with that. And then after we do that, we can work on uh, every other or every other other episode for the C5 Galaxy and this. So don't forget to subscribe for that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content similar to this, where it's build challenges, building all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more, as well as join my Discord, it'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways guys, bye for now.